If you feel like ghastly dragons were too boring, this is the spawn to make them more challenging, the Sao Palace. This spawn shouldn't be your top priority, but to be honest, it's good for tasking, charms and decent for profit. The experience however will be low, keep that in mind. This is the Sao Palace. This spawn requires access by being on mission 7 of the new frontier quest and having delivered 10 sums of knowledge to Kyle. Then you will be able to go through the doors. In here you will be killing dragons, lizard salgons and ghastly dragons. There is 3 pulls you can do at the first part, you can also add them together but that only increases the difficulty and is not as necessary because it takes time to unite the pulls. Do 1 pull in this area and then before the stairs to the ghastly there is enough dragons for 2 pulls. This one can be done in one big pull but again it's unnecessary and doing 2 is just fine. Then move on and go downstairs. Before the ghastly there is 4 dragons that you should skip. Unless it gets to the point you are overkilling the spawn, then you can include those. At the Ghastly Dragons, you got to be more careful with them, as the damage doesn't feel like much, but since it takes a while to kill them, the damage over time will start to lower your HP, so I will watch out for that and don't do more than 5 at a time. Also, make sure to use your Remove Death Course spell before new pulls, and sometimes you might have to use it during the spells if you feel like it's taking too long. For this spawn in particular, you will need both avalanches and thunders. Use avalanches for the dragon pools and thunders for the ghastlies. You don't need two separate hulkies for this and I recommend to have them both on the taskbar and just switch them as you go to different floors. After finishing the ghastlies, just go back to the dragons and repeat again. Keep in mind that the respawn will slow down, to the point the only rune you will be doing twice is the one right before the stairs to the ghastlies, and it's likely there will be on only enough monsters for one pool. For equipment, I will stick to physical resistance, but a death Florica is great choice here as Lon is imbued with life leech. The experience will be around the 2.3k an hour, maybe a bit higher, but don't expect much. The profit tends to be unstable, as the ghastly are very luck dependent and dragons tend to be as well. In average, I will say anywhere close to the 300k an hour should be doable. And that's it, like I said, at the start, this shouldn't be your priority spawn, but if other places are taken or you feel like doing something different, this one should always be available. Unless the ghastly dragon gets boosted, then for sure expect people to be here. This is all I got for this one. If you enjoyed the content and want to support the channel, please consider donating TV coins to Goody Donation. Thank you for watching and see you next time.